overall, I tell women, <clears throat> your value comes in what you don't do versus what you do do. Women always want to go do this and do that. Ooh. Sometimes it's important for you to just sit down. Yep. So it's great that she got she got to be part of the church, but her church, her going to church, her just just like you know, just put her all into the church is just simply her coping mechanism. Right. Right. You're putting your all into the church, just like you're putting your all into this man. Stop putting your all in this in this in the stuff. Put your all in the you. That's it. That's it. That's it. And then you'll be happy. That's it. And so when women come to me and say, you know, I'm doing so much for my husband or my boyfriend, I'm doing this and I'm doing that, and he doesn't appreciate me. And I want you to, I want you to sit here and tell him that he should appreciate me. And you know what I say? Stop doing it. Stop. <laughs> exactly. Like, it's what you don't do. It's not that. what you do do. Right. So why are you doing all that? Well, right. I, I want you to tell him to, no, I want you to stop. I want you to stop. That's it. I want you to stop doing all that. So, and they don't like that. <laughs> like, because you have the power to control doing everything and not. Yes. Like, yes. I want you yes. to empower yourself and stop doing all of that. See? Somebody asked, somebody asked, can we please elaborate on what doing less is better looks like? Would you oh, like to? God, yes. Oh, God, okay. yes. Less is more, women. Less, Less is, is more. more. You are yes. the receiver. You are to be open and receptive. Okay? Yes. You are you're a human being, not a human doing. You don't Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, stop, 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 stop. Please say that again. Oh my God. Say that again. That's amazing. Yeah, you are a human being, not a human doing. Wow. Yes. And so your worth and value. So what I want ladies to know that you are valuable as a mother, you're valuable if you're at work, you're valuable if you're helping your, your friend, and you're valuable if you're sitting on the couch eating a hot fudge sundae. Yes. You're equally valuable. Yes. See, and yes. some days that is exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm sitting on the couch with my feet up eating my sundae, and I am just yeah. as valuable. But you gotta get there inside of you. You got to get there that you're not doing seeking validation, seeking worthiness. Yes. That's let it. me break that... this. Let, let me break something down cuz this is like real real simple anybody can see this. A woman is the egg and a man is the sperm. Mm. You are the egg ladies. What does the egg do? It just sits there. Yep. The sperm does all the work and tries to do this and do that. Allow the man That's to it. do stuff. Stop That's doing it. It. If, Imagine an egg trying to uh, go after the sperm. It wouldn't make sense. Nope. So you are the egg, ladies. Do nothing. Imagine, like right now, imagine, just visualize the, uh, the um, like, back in history, Cleopatra. Just imagine Cleopatra right now. What do you imagine her doing? Nothing. That's it. She's just sitting there. She's just standing like this. <laughs> That's it. If you imagine any illustrious, brilliant woman uh, like in our history, do you imagine them doing anything? No, they're just sitting there. Cleopatra is, is sitting somewhere looking away from everybody. That's it. Women, the, the, the nature of a woman well, this is a good thing and a bad thing. The nature of a woman is to not do anything. It's a bad and a, and a good to it because, right. you know, you can't just put anything out there in the world because now women are going like, oh, I'm going to quit my job. I'm going right, to, right, right. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can't just right. do nothing. Right. But the thing about it is your value comes in with the things that you don't do. Like me in particular, I want a woman that doesn't smoke. I want a woman that isn't a thought. I want a woman that doesn't go out to the club all the time. I want a woman that doesn't go to hookah bars. I can go all, I can, I can like give you 50 different things that I want my ideal woman not to do. Right. But what she does, just being an adult, mm. just being responsible, 
Nothing in particular. You know what I'm saying? I don't need a woman to do anything. I want a woman to not have an attitude. Right. I want a woman to not gain a lot of weight. Yep. There's a lot of not. I don't need you to do anything. Just right. maintain who you are. And this yeah. is a secret that it's, it used to be a, a, a thing that um, guys will always say. When a man gets married, he gets mad at her for changing. Right. But when they get married, the woman gets mad at the man for not changing. Right. So the woman gets with a guy, oh my God, he just won't change. But when a guy marries a woman, he's like, oh my God, she changed on me. Right. Right. So here's the thing. All you have to do to a certain degree, because you have to get away from your trauma. Once you get healed, a man wants you to do one thing. Stay the same. Stay healed. Stay at your same weight. Stay at your same attitude. Don't don't go adding all this extra stuff. Wow. It's about not doing things right. and not instead of doing stuff. Stop doing all this stuff. Sit That's down. It. Stop That's having it. this attitude. You know what I'm saying? That's and it. you'll have a better life. That's it. And let me explain to you the psychology, ladies, behind all of your doing. You're thinking by doing things for a man that you're creating this bond that he will love you more. And the opposite is true. Psychologically, the person who's doing all the doing, they're becoming attached, not the person they're giving to. That's why that man that you helped build and do and took care of this and clean that and bought this and bought that, he walks away. Mm -hmm. He walks away. He's not invested. You're invested. You're invested. You're invested. That's why, mm -mm, nope, I, I make a man invest in me. I make a man give and do for me. He's not so quick to just, well, you know, I'm just going to throw that away. No, he like, I didn't put in too much time with it either. <laughs> I didn't gave too much. I didn't done too much. I got, to, I got to work this out. That's what you want. But you think by all you're giving and doing that he's somehow growing more attached. No, you're growing more attached. That's why less is more. Less is more, ladies. <laughs> if, I could just, if I could get that in you, do less. Do less. Now, here's what I want you to become. I want you to become a feminine woman who's warm, Mm. Just being in your presence, a man feels better because you are warm and inviting and you're like, really? Tell me about your day. See, that's what really draws a man in. Tell yes. me about your day. And, he, and you listen. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe that happened. How did you handle it? You know, you're asking questions and you're, oh, you're just warm. You're warm and inviting. That's yeah. it. That's your power. And you know what's funny? If I tell a client to work on being warm, she would rather buy a man a, a, a pair of Gucci shoes. It's like she'd rather do something than work on her warmth. Because she's being, afraid. Yeah, work on being warm. That's it. That's yeah. your power. Women are afraid of, of, of not... Like like I like I said before, it goes along with the boredom. When a woman just sits her butt down, she she you know women overthink you know a lot, right? Right. See, <laughs> men, men compartmentalize, women don't. So mm -hmm. the way a man man's brain is is almost like a treasure drawer, right? Right. Yep. That's why when you ask a man like, "What was you yesterday?" he'd be like. Uh, because he has to open the drawer right. and get out the information and yep. give it to you. A woman's brain is like uh, a, a walk-in closet. You got pocketbooks, you got shoes, you got tops, you got bottles, you got all these different things all right in front of you. You know what I'm saying? So um, this is why it's hard for a woman to just sit down because it's like sitting down early in the morning and you're about to go to work and you sit down in your walk-in closet and you right. just look at everything. You're just like, should I wear this? Should I? Right. You know what I'm saying? The next thing you know, you get to the point where you just get overwhelmed by your thoughts. Yeah. So this is why it's difficult for women to sit down and not do anything. And 
Uh, one other thing I wanted to add to what you said. When you put in a lot of work and you invest a lot into a man, mm. you're not necessarily getting attached to the man. You're getting attached to the work. Right. You start building a habit in your brain where you're washing his clothes. You're doing all this. You're doing all that. You're doing all these different things, even though he didn't ask you to do it. And you become habitually doing all these things. And right. if he leaves, guess what? You're back to the same nothing and boredom because now you don't have anything to do. Right. But if you get to the point where you become somebody instead of coming, you don't have to do all these things. Right. That's it. You are addicted to the chores, the work, all these things. If you sit down somewhere and you get acclimated with who you are and just be like Cleopatra and just sit here and just chill and wait for somebody to bring you grapes. Right. You have a better life, but you have to get the habit together of not doing anything right. because you're addicted to the work. A lot of women want relationships so they can go back to doing things for men. That's one of the main things women miss. Mm -hmm. And you let me know if I'm wrong, because I'm not a woman. They miss all the doing, right? Because they're poor. Yeah. Not this woman, though. I mean, I'm, I miss them doing for me. <laughs> there you go. I, I miss them doing for me, but no, I, mm -mm, I, I gave that up long ago. Ooh. Love it. Mm -mm, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I miss them giving for me and doing for me. But, you know, I again, 90% of my life is my own. It's my own happiness. It's what I'm doing. Um, ladies, I really encourage you to get a life and get a life that you love. Find hobbies and interests that you love. Yes. Go to yes. go to school. Go to therapy. Um, sure. Go to the gym. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And, and just have a life that you really love. Have your girlfriends, have your family, if you have children, you know, really love your life. And only when a man can come in and add value to your life, and that's 10%, you're like, okay, you know, this person adds value. But outside of that, I don't want you to feel like you need that to validate who you are. I want you to right. feel good about who you are. So. We're almost out of time. This was a very good discussion. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, but ladies, honestly, I do not want you to participate in your own heartbreak. You have more power than you know. You really, yeah. really do. And I need you all to act like it. A lot of you are playing the victim. You're playing the victim card. And I'm sorry, you played a part. You played a part in your heartbreak. So it's time, it's time to turn the mirror on yourself. It's time to say, no, I have the power. I have the power to vet and qualify every man who approaches me. I can run a background check. I can take my time. I can let time do the qualifying, okay? Mm -hmm. And no longer am I going to participate in my own heartbreak. A man would literally have to, out of the blue, like just dump me for no reason but I will have done I will have done everything I know to do to make sure that that doesn't happen. Okay. If you're coaching, please check out Aaron Mallory, Mr. Let Go. He has a YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel. He has a podcast. I have a podcast. Check out our platforms. You got two really great coaches that you can work with. So get the resources, get the knowledge, apply the knowledge. That's the important part, okay? Right. Well, thank you all so much. Thank you, Aaron, for 